Hello, Carolina. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine. Happy yeah. because tomorrow oh. is Friday. <laughs> Hi, guys. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Good evening. Well, tonight. Hi. Hi. Everything good? good? Hi. I have today super. You had a super day? <laughs> How is that? <laughs> what happened? And he wants to know what happened. What happened? I imagine he had a great day for some reason. I don't know. Okay, um, let's get started. We're going to work on section 4.3. I would like for somebody to read the objective. Please, Miss Carolina, go ahead. Uh, uh, read the 4.3. Yeah, the objective, please. Sequence adverbs are used to help describe a progression of events. Often used in recipes or instruction, sequence adverbs such as fears, such as uh, fears, then next, after that, and finally, contain information about the order of action and create natural transitions is reading. In the lesson from English, teacher. Green, green. Teacher Joy Science practice describing recipes in English using sequence adverbs. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Comprehension. Comprehension, comprehension. exercise. Comprehension. Yeah. Comprehension. comprehension. Right, that H comprehension. is not new, so you pronounce it right. Comprehension exercise. And I think you should say, right, teacher, Jose science practices, or um, I don't know. It's not that clear here. Anyway, I guess you remember these sequence adverbs, right? You know, we'll start with first, second, so on. We're going to watch a video and then practice. So everybody mute the microphone, please. We're going to watch. Hello everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me... At the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. 
Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explain, in this case, a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Then toast the slices of bread. Then spread the mixture on the toast. Then put the sandwich in a pan with butter. Then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that. So therefore, we use different words to explain And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together next toast the slices of bread after that so they could be interchangeable there's no rule that says that uh, then it needs to come after first you can use those three interchangeably and the last thing that i would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe and I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your ideas. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. Take this recipe. Okay, um, let's repeat some of them. So we, we practice them. I would like you to memorize these. There are five total. So you can always use them when giving instructions, not only when cooking, all right, but it's it's important to know that we can use this for giving any sort of instructions, all right? So let's say first, repeat, first. 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 Then. First. Then. then. Next. 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 After that. After, after that. that. Finally. After that. Finally. Finally. All right, can I change the order of these three? Yes. 
Uh -huh, exactly. So these are fixed. I cannot move them, right? And these three, I can, I can move as or repeat as many times as I want to. So if the instructions are more than six, what I'm going to do is use these three more than once and change the order, right? What what happens with the verb? Can you notice what tense they're using? So it says, what is the verb in this sentence, guys? Mix. Here? Mix. Mix. Not. Toast. Not. Toast. 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 Here, what is it? Toast. A spread. 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 A spread. Spread. Here. Foot. 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 And. Fry. Fry. How do you Fry. Call yeah, how do you call that conjugation? To give instructions, what is it? So present. present. Not really. Not really. <laughs> no, it is imperative, <laughs> meaning that yeah. there are no, there is no conjugation of it. Right? It's always the same. Can you see a subject here? No, right. You don't see subject, no. you, he, she, we simply see the verb in its base form. So when you give instructions, you say, stand up, right? Mute the microphone. <laughs> that's an example. <laughs> no, don't mute the microphone. <laughs> but that's an example of an imperative, all right? And that's what we're going to do. Um, so I want you to practice now. Hold on. There are many second adverbs, for example, moreover, put more. Mm, yeah, but those, no, that wouldn't be used for giving instructions though. Those would be to you, uh, used to connect ideas, but not to give instructions. I don't think so. All right, so first of all, I want you to talk about how to make, let me see, Amaru Chan, okay? Easy. <laughs> then you're gonna work in groups of three. So, okay, here's what we're gonna do. One person is going to give the instructions on how to uh, make a maruchan, right? The maruchan so, cheers. Believe it or not, you're gonna need some vocabulary related to cooking. So, maruchan, then a coffee. We're gonna work, work in groups of three. Okay? The third one is going to make. A, what was it? Uh, oh, sandwich. Um, how many two sandwiches? Microphone, oh. yeah, it's noisy. everybody with the microphone, please. It's kind of noisy. I don't know who that is. All right, it's better. And the fourth one, I want you to do as a, as a group, not individually. All right, but obviously, you can help one another in case that you need it because this is more complex how to make pupusas. Okay, yeah, pupusa, so I want yeah. you to discuss that, and then I'm going to have some volunteers share with us. So some useful verbs that you're gonna need um, are, for example, okay, stir, right? For making a coffee, you're gonna stir it, not mix it, okay? Stir. And another important one is pour. This is adding liquids to to a to a recipient, a to a container, right? Pour. So you might need those. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's work in groups of three. Any questions? No, teacher. Okay. No question. Uh, no I have question. a question. Tell me. For example, if I if I do a coffee on the... If I make, because you're kind of creating it. Uh -huh. So if I make coffee? If I make coffee on the... How do you say, licuador? <laughs> <laughs> that is mix it? Blender. Blender. Yes, blender. You, would say, uh, is... you would say blend it. Ah, blend it. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a blender, so what it does is it blends. Okay. Right. Mix is more like if you have vegetables and or fruits and you have you want to make a salad, you mix it. Uh, but okay. if, if you're making a coffee, you pour, you stir it. Okay. okay. All right. Let's accept the invitation, please. Choose one one of these, and let's practice.
There it is. Accept the invitation, everyone, please. Is Gabriela practicing with you? Hi. All right, let's practice with Mr. Wilson. All right, choose one, Maruchan, coffee. And using first, then after that, go ahead. Here go, uh, select. Wilson. Hello. Hello, can you hear Hello. me? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. That um, put the water boiling in the... <laughs> so maybe maybe you first need to boil it, right? Boil it? Boil, boil, boil the boiling, boiling water. Sorry? Boiling water? Boiling water, boiling water yes. first. No, but you have to say first. Sorry, first boil... boil water boil water mm -hmm. then put the water in the dip uh -huh, in the in a in the recipe in a recipiente recipe no in a, no in a container the container the container container yeah but that would be more like a pot p o t como i don't know like a little pot <laughs> First, put water inside the bowl. Uh -huh, okay. Then, uh, then Nina is here, so she's gonna put in microwave. Well. Put inside the, the microwave. Uh huh. Eat. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Bye. Okay. Uh, minute? No, one or one minute. Uh, two minutes, baby. Maybe. Maybe. So let's put uh, turn on turn on the microwave for two minutes. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> How to make a ham with cheese sandwich? And you need to put mayonnaise <laughs> in the hey, slide. De terror ahí. Yes, I don't know. Scary, scary movie. <laughs> yes. Wait, was uh, it out, outside need... of your house, Diana? Huh? Was it outside no. of your house? What was that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. Están asustando. I doubt. <laughs> Find out and tell us what happened. That, that's scary. I hope that's scary. Whoever, whoever screamed is safe. Anyway, um, go ahead, continue. I was going to say something. I forgot. Continue. <laughs> okay. Um, you need to put mayonnaise in the. Ah, it's well, spray, it's spread, spread mayonnaise. Spread, spread mayonnaise. Put mayonnaise in the slide. Uh, I do it um a little stir with me, with the mix cheese frijoles and chicharrón beans 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 and beans. beans. After that, I put on the kitchen with oil and finally I take off of the kitchen. And eat. Eat. And I'm ready to eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, coffee? You, you, coffee. Do coffee. you drink coffee? Co yourself? Okay, coffee, yes. Yes, I drink two, okay. co two cups a day. Two cups. Next. Next mix. No.
No. No. Me mix. Mix. And finally, enjoy the soap. <laughs> enjoy the soap. <laughs> Irene, se fue. Ok. It is Make a pupusa. Soup. 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 soup is the one you, you take a shower with. That's soap. But this is a soup. Ah, <laughs> soup. <laughs> soup. Ok. And then oh, pupusas, right? Make 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 a pupusa. Sure. We have yeah. a question. How do you say when do you make a pupusas? You mm. need to in the sabor decimos amasar algo así. How do you say that? Ah, okay. You need to um, spread the tener un doble sentido esa palabra. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, Fernando, you know what I was thinking of is a mask, but that is it, it needs, a mask. Uh, that is a mask. to like to collect uh, a big mass so or a huge quantity uh, amount of something. So that's not the case. So when different. you make a a pizza, for example, you need to do you the roll same. The dough. Uh -huh, yeah. I roll, roll, yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's, okay. It's a roller, right? Yeah, I think you roll the dough. Let's see, you roll the dough. It's the same thing, although you do it manually. Yeah, yeah roll the dough. Yeah. Dough. Dough is como masa? Yeah, dough. Dough. Okay, you need to roll the dough and then you have to add uh, cheese and whatever you want to add to the Ah, okay, 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 okay. I found another one. I found another one. Because <laughs> roll is with the roller, right? And I was like, no, oh, yeah, with the manually. roller. So, yeah, yeah, it is hand stretch. Hand stretch. You need to do a hand stretch. <laughs> so, you need to hand stretch the dough. Stretch you need to hand stretch the dough. Mm -hmm. And then, that was and a great after question. that, okay, after that, <laughs> you, <laughs> you need to eat pupusa. <laughs> okay. What about the sauce? Oh, the sauce for pupus. <laughs> well, I need for the make a sauce. Here we are. Did you finish all of the the recipes? Yes. Yep. Okay. Who wants yes. to tell me quickly how to make a Marichan volunteer coin? Put the water uh, uh, out. I couldn't hear anything else, Mr. Mauricio. Put, put water inside the bowl. Inside a bowl. Ah, Inside to make a, a more chance. Yeah. You example. have to, to heat the water. I think. Uh, first. <laughs> first. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> first. You, okay, have to, you have to put the water in on a cup. Boil the water. First is the bowl. Let's boil, do it together, all right? Make it so that we make sure we're using the right verbs. Okay, first, we're going to either first. heat. Okay, we're either gonna eat heat or um, boil the water, depending on how ah. you want it. All right, okay. heat or boil. For maruchans, I usually heat the water. I think. Okay, then you're gonna pour yeah. the water, right? But so what? Put the water to heat. What are you using first, right? First, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, uh, water, what, what water. Put, put it, put it. Boil. Next. Next. Boil. Pour water Put into the, the cup if, or into the bowl if you want to change into the glass. Recipients. It's actually a, a, a cup, a disposable cup, the one that comes with it, or a bowl. Okay. It depends on what kind of maruchan it is. Because okay. the one in the bag, <laughs> you need to, to have a bowl. Okay, what else? After that, uh huh. That wait, wait for five minutes. Five minutes. No. Uh -huh. Okay, um, we're gonna leave it there. Around, la, 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 around three or no. five. 
three minutes, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's make coffee. Depend, depend on hungry. <laughs> the hungry. And finally, finally is ready to eat. <laughs> okay, finally, enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> great. Coffee. What did you say about coffee, guys? Instant coffee, teacher. Yeah, instant coffee. No, no. Bad, bad. <laughs> Nat natural natural coffee is good. <laughs> okay, so first uh, the mountain. The mountain, yes. It's the mountain. The Free mountain, coffee. the the Morasan. Uh, From Morasan. The... All right, first Starbucks. Aneka. Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> first go to Starbucks. Then go to Starbucks. Coffee. Go to Starbucks. Amount of money to <laughs> okay, <laughs> first coffee. boil. Some water, right? What else, guys? Put the water to heat. Uh, that is no, the no, same. Boil the water it, or Very heat good. it. What else? Next, Next you water prepare water. the soup. <laughs> then, First. then I can say then. Okay, I can then, say then, right? then, then, then. Luego. Then. then, then yes. No, yeah, but you can say then after that or next. It doesn't matter. Yes. Uh -huh. Put at a tablespoon. Put in microwave. Yeah. Maybe That's put clever. the water into a cup, right? <laughs> After mm -hmm. that, add a um, teacher. First, it's a coffee. Next, the water. It's <laughs> <instant> coffee. <laughs> okay, so maybe uh, hold on. Next, <laughs> add the, put the a, coffee. Put a spoon. A spoonful. Teaspoon. Teaspoon. And finally, serve, right? Right. I don't know. <laughs> and pupusas. Pupusas is a little bit more complex. But, uh -huh. yeah, complicated. Pupusas. Yeah, it is complicated. That means Olga. Put some hard cheese. <laughs> I forgot it about that. Okay, so first, <laughs> hold on. We're going to here stretch. Uh -huh. Look, guys, stretch the dough. Stretch the dough. Uh -huh. Dough macerated. Cool, cool. Like you stretch it, right? Stretch the dough. And next, stretch the dough. Add some hard uh, cheese. <laughs> Some hard cheese. <laughs> and what beans, else? if you want. Uh -huh, on... Hard cheese. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is, what is the name of that one? Uh, yuca. Yuca. <laughs> <laughs> Olga told <laughs> yuca. Yuca on it. Uh -huh. Yuca sancochada. <laughs> you can add fry some, you can <laughs> add some refried beans, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then fry the poo poos. Oh, well, you know the procedure. Anyway, that was funny. Okay. Any questions? Yes, about that? Mm -hmm. No. Oh. No, the, <laughs> you don't want to learn Easy. how to make those poo poos, right? <laughs> no, poo poos. Please, poo poos, no. <laughs> Okay, uh, Rina, can you read the objective, please? Okay, uh, the future tense is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future tense. English, please, Joy, Joe's tense, explain these two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple formula. Ask and answer a question using going to and will as auxiliary verbs and practice discussing your future plans. For example, an upcoming vacation, holidays with family, or even your plans for later in the day. Great, sounds good. So we're going to review your going to and will. Do you remember what the difference is? No. What is the difference between going to and will? 
No? Going to no. is like an action and will is a prediction. Yes. Going Maybe will is, will is may go is secure. Hold on. Will is to make predictions, but with no evidence. Yes. So it's yes. like me saying next year you guys will be rich. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a prediction with no evidence. Quick decisions, right? For example, oh, the door, I will open the door. It will rain. No, maybe not. <laughs> no, because you do have I evidence. Will. I will I will show you that. But yeah, I will open no. the door like you you hear ding dong or knock knock knock, depending on your system, right? <laughs> and you say, Oh, I will open the door. So it's a quick decision. Okay, when you're talking with a will. And let me see what oh, also for promises. For promises, so like the song, right? I will always love, love you. you. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's not a real promise, though. But <laughs> I will always love you. Ah, no, I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> anyway, going to that's a difficult song. Going to we're gonna use it for predictions, but this time with with evidence. Okay, so predictions with evidence. For example, what um, Fernando said, it's it's going to to rain. Why? Because you look at the clouds and it's dark. The dogs are barking. <laughs> so you have all the evidence that you say it's going to rain. Okay, predictions and also for plans, the plans that you made ahead. Okay, that's the difference basically. So let's watch the video. Pay attention, please. Everybody, even with the microphone. Any questions? Is that clear? Is the difference clear? Need. Great question. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present the structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use the going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you will change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. 
for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to f France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're going to uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use this expression. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you were thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I am going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, That's what I want to express. Um, and so in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be. And then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe. Uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably, okay? Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, okay? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle, okay? I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch 
the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we covered today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your Okay, I'm going to leave it here. We're going to discuss some questions, all right? But I want you to practice because we've already practiced this multiple times. If the part that I want you to practice is this one, okay? Using those expressions when you're hesitating whether or not you will do something. Uh, what are those expressions? Repeat them with me, okay? Because we're going to practice those. I, I guess. I, I guess. guess. Maybe. 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 I think. I, I think. 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 I probably. I probably. I probably. Right, or I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not, not sure. sure. I'm not sure. sure. Okay, with all of those expressions, are you going to use going to or will? What? With Why? these expressions, I guess, I think, I probably. Uh, will. I think will or going to? Will. Will. Exactly. Will. Will. That means that we're only going to be practicing will right now, okay? But say, imagine that you're hesitating, okay? So I'm going to send you some questions right now. Look at your WhatsApp, take a look. And one of them says, for example, all right? One of them says, uh, what are you going to have for dinner? What are you going to have for dinner? So let's use one of those expressions. I guess, how would you make that sentence? I guess. I will. I guess I will have chicken, for example, right? Next, it says, what are your plans for tomorrow? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I will work all day long, for example. Is that clear? Yes. So I want you to yeah. practice this specific part. I will send you more questions, but practice as fast as you can, because we don't have much time. All right. So accept the invitation, please. Any questions? No. no? Okay. Here we go. Roxana and Elisa, did you get the invitation? I don't have an invitation teacher. Um, it's probably because of your internet. What about now? Let's try to accept that invitation. finished you are going 
to see friends. Repeat your question, please. No. What time will you finish work today? It was the second one. I'm going to have for dinner some... But try to use the expressions, expressions like I think, I guess. It will. Ah. Use those with will. Will, it will. Yeah, regardless of the question, because no matter what I ask you, if you're hesitating, try to use will. Yes. And the and the question is with going to and the answer should be with will. Yeah, the thing is that no matter what I ask you, uh, you if you hesitate, Dep you're gonna use Depend. will. So how do we know that you're hesitating? Because you're saying, I think, I'm not, uh, I guess, and we learned four expressions in the video. Did you take notes yes. of that? All right, so the question shouldn't affect your answer. That's what I'm trying to say. And then can be, I, I probably, I will do the some beans with eggs, cheese, and... Tortillas. Uh -huh. Exactly, perfect. <laughs> okay, what, is the what is the, uh, the next book you would like to read? Mm, I don't know, maybe... Uh, Maybe I will read um, La 50 Sombra Más Oscura. <laughs> or something like that, Star Wars or something like that. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, I going to try to use will. I say I guess, I think, I I I, I will probably mm -hmm. um um to see my friends on we can probably see don't you see? i uh -huh. see my friends on week say it again completely i will probably see my friends on weekend okay perfect thank you also oh, teacher yeah. i probably i will no i see probably will I probably will. I probably will see my friends. I probably will see my friends. Or I will probably, probably see my friends. Or probably I will. Yeah. yeah and, and the, the, so, sample have, the sample you have here is negative, but it, you can you can put it in both places. It's better for you to say I will probably see. I will probably make. We'll probably see my friends on weekend. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, next question. Okay. Next question. Mm -hmm. uh, the net can be next. when is the next time? You are going to see friends, Brina. Uh, the next time I, I'm going to see fr my friends, I'm going to see my friends tomorrow. Try to use the expression. So say, for example, although it's not real, right? But say, maybe I'll see my friends tomorrow. I think I will see my friends tomorrow. I probably will see my friends tomorrow and so on. Okay. I maybe will see my friends. Can be a teacher? No, maybe I will see my friends tomorrow. Ah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. maybe. Probably. I will probably. Yeah, you have to pay attention to the order of it. So whenever you watch a video, try to take notes of, of, of the structure or take a, a screenshot. Right, but yeah, if maybe I will see. I will probably, I guess I will, and I think I will. I think I will. Right. Yes. 
Lisa? When is the next time you are going to see friends? Maybe I will see, see them this weekend. Okay. The next is uh, Roxana. When is the next day you have? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it'll. Uh, it'll okay. Go into. That, that is not ill, sorry. That is aisle. It's the contraction of I will. Hi. Say aisle. Aisle. Mm -hmm. Aisle next day. No, aisle. Tomorrow. And the verb. Say it again. I um, have date tomorrow. Okay, but then say one expression. So say I guess I'll I will. What did you say? Have maybe. Uh huh. Maybe I'll have day tomorrow. What was the question, Miss Carolina? Uh, the question is, when is the next day you have? Cuando to, when is the net? Is the next day you have? The next day off. Maybe? You have. Oh, that, 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 that doesn't make any sense. Con la próxima cita que tendré. Ah, date. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Date. Okay. So I guess I'll have a date tomorrow, right? We're gonna go back mm -hmm. now. Great. Good job. Okay. In my case, Alrighty. Welcome back. Did you practice? Yes, I need the microphone. Okay. Yes. Um, most of you were doing great. But I guess that you were confused with, with um, the structure at some point. Right, I guess, I think, and what was the other one? <coughs> I think probably in maybe. Okay. So the position of probably, I will ask you a question and then let's use probably, all right? So when is the next time you're going to see your friends? Probably I will see friends on weekend. Right, but that position of probably in the majority of cases is going to be after will. Okay, so I will probably be my friend this weekend. Okay, so pay attention to the position of it. If you can, write it, okay? Probably is between the auxiliary and the verb, all right? Okay, another question we're going to use, I guess. When is the next time you plan on doing some exercise? On Monday, right? <laughs> el, el, el lunes empiezo. <laughs> La dieta, everybody says that. Next year, next year. <laughs> so I guess, go ahead, Fernando. I guess um, I, I will do exercise next year. year. <laughs> Don't be pajero, Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> I will well, try. Maybe I will next try. year. All right. So the position of I guess is at the beginning, right? Okay. Another question. You know, when? What is the next book you're going to read? You're planning on reading. You would like to read. The question doesn't matter if you hesitate. Try to use will. All right. So, what's the next book? Carolina, you're muted. Carolina's giving an answer. Uh, I think uh -huh. I will read uh, mm -hmm. the Bible. The Bible, mm -hmm. very good. Ah, the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. But yes. this is the position, all right? Probably, I guess, I think, and maybe. <clears throat> and the last question. Yeah. When are you going to go to the movie theater next? Or when is the next time you're going to go to the movie theater? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I will. I will go on Saturday night. Aha, uh -huh, perfect. Maybe I will go on Saturday night. So look, all of these are at the beginning, except probably it goes between the auxiliary and the verb. All right, in the majority of cases. Any questions? No. No. No, teacher. Thank all you. All clear? 
Thank you. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you for being in class. I hope Thank that you. you have a wonderful weekend. Have fun. Thank you. Oh, Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy it. Have a nice okay. weekend, Monday. teacher. Bye. Thank you. See you on Monday. Okay. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.